What's going on everyone? My name is Jericho and welcome back to rambling.com where I, uh, I, I talk about something. I actually had something come to mind this morning when I was in the shower. It was a shower thought and uh, it was that I had never really talked about, um, you know, privacy and issues with anonymity before and then I also thought you know I did a panel on it uh, at TwitchCon but that that goes into a whole bigger scheme of things that people don't necessarily think about when they start streaming or making videos so I kind of wanted to touch base on both of them because not only is it a cool topic to talk about but it's also kind of a shitty one um, and, I, and we'll start off with uh, the anonymity slash privacy thing so you know, I do get a question a lot of times like, hey man, when you first started out, like, did you ever expect stuff to get this big? And the answer, obviously, for every single person that does this is no. Like, nobody goes into this expecting that anything's going to come of it. Um, if you do, most likely nothing will because that kind of attitude doesn't exactly lend itself towards uh, people who are, you know, are, are larger on YouTube. So I did not expect to have my entire life be defined by my streaming and videos of me playing video games, uh, especially not when I started making videos. And as a result, I wasn't necessarily prepared mentally for uh, the dangers, I guess we'll put air quotes around dangers, of being in the public space. Now, everybody kind of knows from watching the shitty celebrity TV shows and whatnot that paparazzi and, and people that are, that are basically going on a mission to expose a mu as much about people as possible uh, are a thing in real life. Like, it's not, uh, it's not a, a rare in-between, you know, few and far in-between thing. It happens all the time. And it's no different with YouTube, and it gets worse the, the more that YouTube moves into the public space, same as Twitch. Um, I'm not just talking about, you know, having your public IP out there or, or having your room being shown or having people know, you know, generally where you live, which all of those things are kind of a, you know, a downside, right? I'm talking about the general, like, more in-depth personal stuff where somebody will go through and find old accounts that you have that you don't even know you had or remember that you had or a, a cached webpage of something that brings up absolutely horrible memories and or it could just bring up a whole different side of you. Maybe you were a douchebag. I don't know. Luckily, I, you know, I don't think that I've... I was a douchebag, but there's definitely some stuff in the past that I've seen come back to light and I'm like, my God. Like... Why, A, why did you spend the time to dig this up about me? And then B, like, that's just, I, why is that still available anywhere in the world? And it's important because, yeah, it, back when your parents were growing up and or your, even your older brothers and sisters, like, they grew up in a time where all of their mistakes and shit were just, like, verbally told. You know, no, nobody had a record of it outside of the spoken word and memories, right? Now, you guys are all growing up in a time, especially, you know, with Facebook being as prevalent as it is, where every stupid shit that you could possibly think of that you did or said is now available somewhere on the internet. It might be on your Facebook. It might be on a cached webpage of Facebook. Like, it's there, though. It's there, though. And that's really shitty because when you move into this space, your privacy becomes little to none. Um, and, and anything that you might have done in the past, anything that you will do in the future, unless you go through absurdly great lengths to protect it, you're going to have stuff that you didn't want other people to know out there in the open. Maybe it's your dick pic. I don't, maybe it's not. Maybe it's just something stupid that you said to a girl. I don't know. Um, and I think that privacy, privacy is one of the most valuable things. I mean, it's not something we think about a lot, but when you get your door removed from your door frame, I knew a couple people that had that happen, uh, because they got caught like having sex in high school. And uh, when you get that removed, realize how, how little privacy you have now, you know, it, and it's something just that simple that, that can go a long way. And the reason that I bring this up is because I realized uh, a short while ago that, you know, no matter how hard or how well I, I, I could keep a secret, let's say, so you guys know I moved to Portland, right? Let's say, for example, when we were living in LA, we never said we lived in Los Angeles. Well, then we couldn't do anything like film outside. We couldn't ever do anything in a LA space because if we went to like Universal Studios, people would be like, ah, you live around there, at least close enough to drive, et cetera, et cetera. Everything you do in an area leads people to where you live. And that's, you know, that's just something that I realized. I'm like, damn, 
unless you're like never doing anything outside your doors and you never show anything or make any hints as to places you order from, like if I'm just like, all right, so I went to Bamboo Sushi. It's this fucking bomb ass sushi place last night in, uh, in Portland. Now, if I had said, I'm getting sushi from this place called Bamboo Sushi, somebody could just Google that shit and go, oh, that's in Portland. Uh, hmm, I wonder where he lives. Uh, the point I'm making is that in this day and age, there's not a lot of privacy and your anonymity, your ability to uh, remain in a space without giving too much away about yourself is really limited if you want to connect and make friends with people and, or, or even just have discussions in the public domain. So it's something that people don't think about when they get into streaming or get into video making, but it's definitely a, a problem for a lot of us where you'll have people coming up to, our, like we had people come to our house in LA, knock on the doors, like look through the windows and sh like that's just, that's fucked up, man. That's fucked up. Don't come to somebody's house unless they invite you. Like I don't, I don't care if you're a fan, doesn't matter. It will make them hate you, seriously. So, um, and then let's move on to the other thing that I want to talk about, which is basically how other, uh, you know, how when you get into the space, when you get into streaming or making videos, you don't think about all the negatives that come alongside of that, all the, uh, all the things that aren't necessarily positive that nobody really likes to complain about. Because I know that everybody goes, oh, well, that's the price you pay for being, you know, for being famous, dude. Like, you gave away your privacy for this. It's like, no. You're just a douchebag. Like every human has the right to privacy and you're just trying to take that away as a justification for I I don't know what. But then alongside of that, you know, you get you get stuff like emotional swings where you'll have the best YouTube day or best video response or best stream day of your life and the next day it won't be as good. And you're like fuck. And then the next day it won't be as good and you're like fuck. I encourage any single person out there looking to stream on Twitch who gets any sort of, who, who is getting any sort of success and has a fall off and gets discouraged to go look at my social blade of my monthly views and followers on Twitch. All right, go do it because you'll see an exact downward trend from the start when I really got uh, a, a big boost from my night all the way to today where it's a, a literally a negative slope the entire way. There's not a single uptick there. It's just like down. And it's easy to look at data and go, well, fuck, the data doesn't lie. You're right, I guess it doesn't. At the same time, there's a lot of variables that go into the things that you do that you have no control over. Whether it's a weekend or a weekday, or maybe the power was out uh, in a large portion of the country because of a snowstorm, or maybe school was out, so that's why the day was better than before. There's so many variables that it's impossible to pinpoint where or why or how your video is going to do well or did poorly. And that's why anybody who's like, I can tell you how to make a viral video, they're lying through their teeth. They have no fucking clue. Nobody does. There's too many variables to pin it down. So if you can't tell yourself or tell other people, hey, I know exactly what's going to make a video do well. You cannot say, well, I'm the reason the video did poorly or something I did is the reason the video did poorly because the amount of variables are, are so long that you, you can't tag it down to a one, one issue thing. Now, that's not to say you can't look at your, you know, mistakes and say, ah, I definitely could do without that, or I could have tried to do this and it might have improved the video, but I, I just get really, I guess I get really kind of sad when I see people tag themselves as the reason for something going wrong, but then they never give themselves credit or they, you know, they don't see themselves as contributing to making something positive. And that's, you know, the ups and downs. Nobody's going to complain about that publicly because um, it's it's not something that, you know, there's always somebody who's, who's doing worse off than you that'll be like, I would murder to be in your position. And it might happen when you have 10 viewers and there's one guy who comes in and it's like, I get two viewers. I would murder to be in your position. You're like, well, fuck, man. I guess I can't complain. Now magnify that, you know, to a scale like PewDiePie and you're like, shit, the worst case scenarios could possibly happen to PewDiePie and he would and he would just like uh he would not be able to complain because everybody would give him shit for it. So there's a lot of there's a lot of unspoken issues that come with streaming that you're not going to necessarily think about from privacy to security to um you know to emotional being able to speak about your emotional issues in a in a way that's not going to bring more negative attention to you. Um, and I just think it's important for everybody to kind of understand that there are downsides to doing uh, what I do as well as the upsides. I would never trade it for the world. I would never expect anybody in my position to trade it for the world. And I don't think anybody would. 
but it doesn't mean that if you have the best job in the world, you don't have some, some issues that go alongside of it. Nothing's perfect. So I just wanted to shout out all those, you know, things that came to mind while I was taking my shower this morning. Hopefully it helps even some of you guys that might have thought about doing it. Um, and I appreciate you guys sitting through my ramble once again. So thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll talk to you all later.